Hi guys, I'm coming to you from Ogden, Utah. It snowed a lot this morning and then it got sunny and now it's freezing cold. Hope you guys are all staying safe and warm out there. Um, where are you guys coming in from? Drop them, um, let me know. <laughs> I love to see where, um, where everyone comes in from and um, where you guys are all located. Um, thanks for hopping on. Thanks for the support. Thanks for following my journey. Um, so, okay guys, one of my New Year's goals is to go live once a week. Um, doing different fun things, um, but I also want them to provide value to you. Hi, Melanie. Um, so a while back, I did a Q&A, um, and that was great. Um, and so tonight I'm thinking of um, doing like a how-to um, and I'm super excited um, um, okay so my thought was to teach you how to do something um, and I, I put out a post um, asking what you guys wanted me to teach and how I could help you how can I bring value to you um, and I needed you guys' help and the thing that I got the most response with was um, kind of how I do everything. Does that make sense? <laughs> Does that make sense? So um, kind of my schedule. How am I able to get everything done? How am I able to um, have time for homeschool? And keeping the house, don't look behind me, the playroom is a disaster. In general, keeping the house up and um, doing my, my business and um, having other times for all these things. Um, so I thought tonight I would go over kind of my schedule, what I do every day and maybe that can help bring value and you guys can think of some ideas that you do that might help me. Um, drop it drop it if you have anything that you do <laughs> thank you thank you um, if you guys have ideas of things that you do during the day that um, that you think would help me I totally want to hear them and if I say anything um, I hope that I say at least some things that you guys can take away and um, oh, I'm tired you guys I'm sorry um, but I'm hopefully um, I can give you guys some new ideas on how to incorporate and to be able to feel like you are having productive days. All right. So I'm just gonna kind of go through my schedule, and uh, let me know what you think. If you have any ideas, any comments, questions, let me know. Okay. So my schedule, and I have a paper right here written down because I don't want to just write. I just want it to be perfect. Okay. So, my kids wake up between 6 and 8 every morning. 8 is like, I feel like a princess, you know what I mean? It's usually about 6. Um, doesn't matter what time I put them down, if I put them down later, they're just grumpier. So, um, 6 to 8 is when they wake up and they're going to want breakfast, right? So we have breakfast and then at 8 o'clock. Um, it's usually playtime and a TV show. Yes, I give my kids screen time. Um, that could be a whole other topic if you want. <laughs> I um, have a huge theory on purposeful um, screen time. And my kids have learned a ton. And um, anyways, I just believe in it. So I do screen time. Don't hate me. Um, and then that's when I get dressed. Uh, and then nine o'clock, um, we'll come in here and I do some work on the computer next to the play area, which is behind me. Again, don't look too closely. <laughs> um, and we'll turn on some music and the kids will play and I'll work and we'll have music going and it's great. And then at 10, um, we go outside or we play a game. I, I, I take time out to play with the kids a game um, 
or something like that just to give them a break because I've been on the computer and um, they love attention because they're kids, you know what I mean? Um, 11 o'clock, I do my daily chore and they help, right? So, daily chores. I have daily cleaning that I do to try and keep on top of the house. Um, and I'll go through that with you too. So on Mondays, my daily cleaning is the master bedroom and bathroom. And it's just kind of like I take chunks of the house and I just kind of work on them, like deep clean every day. So the master bedroom and bathroom is Monday and that's when I do our laundry. And then I also organize the laundry room. On Tuesdays, I do the kids rooms, the kids room and the bathroom. So that chunk of the house, the kids, and then I do the kids laundry. Um, Wednesday is when I dust, clean the windows, and I spot clean the upholstery. Um, Thursday is the kitchen. So I tackle the kitchen. Clean and organize the kitchen. I clean the microwave, the high chair, clean out the fridge. Um, Friday is when I focus on the floors. So that's when I'll vacuum and clean the floors. Um, Saturday is usually when we do yard work and Sundays, um, that's our relaxed day, right? So that's what I do every day. Um, those are my daily chores. Of course, if I only had to vacuum on Fridays, that'd be a miracle, right? Pretty sure I'm vacuuming every single day, but I just um, focus on those, those parts of the house, especially on those certain days. So that is what I do at 11 and after that then we eat lunch we can't make it till noon or one if we're up at six by by 11 it's lunchtime and I'm feeling it too anybody feel that <laughs> definitely we can't make it so then at noon um, we read books um, and I put Tucker down for a nap Bridger stopped taking naps a little bit after he turned three, which was a year ago. And he will not take naps, unless we're in the car. If we're in the car, he'll go to sleep. But, um, so I put Tucker down and that's when Bridger and I do homeschool. That's when we do school, we get our preschool done while Tucker's sleeping. And I have one-on-one -on -one time with Bridger. And then while he's doing, um, there's not much, um, school work that he can do by himself yet because he's four right and it's not like we're doing like school because he's four um but then he'll take some time and do something by himself and that's when I try to have some quiet time with God and I shoot for about 20 minutes of exercise and that's when I get that done and then at one um that's when I will catch up on computer work or a home project and then at two that's usually about when Tucker wakes up. And then when he wakes up, both boys are hungry again. And so we'll have a snack. Um, and that's the time when we run our errands, is from two, two to about four. We'll run our errands or go to the park or have a play date. That's usually our prime out and about getting things done. Um, so about four o'clock, when things have settled down, um, I'll set up the kids to do an activity. And that could be like, coloring or play-doh or puzzles or stickers or blocks and that's when I attempt to squeeze some more work in and then at five um, we pick up the toys and the kids help <laughs> um, and then I turn on another show I do it guys because that is the only way if Joan's not home that I'm gonna get dinner going and I get the kitchen picked up and things like that um, like I said before, I am a fan of purposeful screen time. Um, I think that it can be really valuable if used correctly. So uh, if John's not home, the TVs we're gonna we're gonna watch a show while I so I can make dinner. And we usually eat dinner about six. And then um, afterwards, that's when I want to get their wiggles out for the day. So we'll play outside for a bit, maybe. Um, get all their energy out for bed right so at 7 that's when we get cleaned up whether that's a bath 
um, get in our PJs, read some books, do our um, <laughs> does it seem hectic? I think um, I think that because I'm consistent and it helps the kids know what's coming next and it helps me especially because I have anxiety and things like that that I know exactly what's coming next. It doesn't doesn't feel like it's exhausting. I think that it helps me get things done and make sure that I'm I'm spending time with the kids and I'm spending time on my business and I'm spending time on me and the house and everything kind of has its place during the day. Does that make sense? Um, so at seven, right? So bath, um, PJs, nighttime routine. <laughs> busy. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is busy. Um, wouldn't change it for the world though. Um, I love it. So then nighttime routine, right? Reading books, getting them in bed. I say seven. Did they go to bed? No. It's more like eight o'clock, right parents? And that's lucky. They're pretty good because we are consistent about going to bed. Um, I've heard some horror stories of kids going to bed, you know, like taking hours and hours and hours. We start at seven and they're usually asleep by about eight. And then at eight o'clock, that's when I will finish up any work, wrap up my home projects, things like that. So that is kind of my day. That's how I find time to get things done. Um, that works for us and that works for our family. Um, I hope that some of that helped. <laughs> I love you, mom. Uh, I hope that that gave maybe you guys some ideas to help um, not feel so overwhelmed with the mom life and the maybe a side hustle life or housewife life. You know what I mean? Um, I hope that that provided value. Um, let me know in the future um, what you would like me to talk about. So I don't want to talk about stuff if you guys, if it doesn't interest you, if it doesn't bring any value to your life. You know what I mean? So, um, if you have any ideas of how you manage to get it all done, um, please let me know. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys are having a great night. I'm so glad that you guys hopped on and that you are supporting me and are following me. And you guys are awesome. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.